Hello everyone, it's Kritik here from IT Rebels. I hope you are awake now. So let's begin with this video. So in this tutorial, we will be watching like uh, how we can create an NFT gating website for your company or like for your project. We are going. We, are, we will be using like Next.js 13 with application directories and Wagami and MetaMask. Plus we have some smart contract uh, available like on chain i am i will be using that so let's begin i will give you a quick intro what we are building so this is the platform as you can see uh one minute i will show you without me <laughs> so this is the platform uh, it's available at nft gating uh, app so we are just uh, simplifying how this nft gating uh, like you can make it from scratch uh, we will be using Next.js 13 application directory plus Wagami. Wagami is a tool that uh, use Veeam and it helps us to interact with smart contracts, uh, provide connectivity like it is widely used uh, in Web3 ecosystem. So we can, this is the rainbow kit. Uh, it is integrated with uh, Wagami right now and once we can connect our wallet and this is how it looks uh, if we don't have any nfts then we will be displaying some memes here uh, and if you want if you hold any nft right now like i hold some nfts like uh, garbage university ens so i have a ens so let's say uh, check for this contract uh, we have to pass the uh, like contract address of the NFT, uh, I hope ENS is uh, 721. But let's see if it's work or not. As you can see, can't find balance of. So it ENS was not a uh, 700 ERC 721. But there must be some other uh, NFT token which will be a 721. Let's check this out. Cool. Check. Cool. So we have that NFT. That's why we, uh, uh, we have that NFT uh, registered in this smart contract. So that's why we we have the access of this hidden content. So if you are new to blockchain and want to learn more about blockchain uh, development and how you can start your own journey, and you are curious about that. So I highly, highly recommend this uh, playlist to watch like uh, it's solidity blockchain development uh, with smart, con smart contract development. If you are, if you want to be a smart contract auditor or smart contract developer, or you just want to do some bug bounty or like for that stuff, uh, you have to learn this solidity smart contract development. So this is the best course uh, on internet right now. Uh, it's available for free on YouTube. You can just check it out. It's by Patrick Colen, uh, one of the finest teacher uh, in this ecosystem. So this is the hidden content here. And if you hold any NFT, then and then only you can see this. Uh, but what if uh, I want to switch a chain? And if I switch a chain, what happened then? So as you can see, uh, this contract is not uh, uh, this contract we have is not like ha hold having this NFT. Like we can't find NFT in on Polygon chain for this contract because this contract never deployed on Polygon chain. It's just available on Ethereum main mainnet. So if you have any NFT on Polygon chain, you can just paste their contract address. It will work for that. So let's see uh, if. We, I have some, I have a smart contract. Let's see uh, how it works. I reloaded this website, and as you can see, uh, because by default I have a sm uh, NFT which I created, and behind the scene I added uh, by it by default. So that's why it checked and uh, it checked for that NFT, and if I have if I have that NFT which I have uh, so it displayed the uh, hidden content 
so this is what nft gating uh, means and uh, we are using uh, we are creating a website that's why nft gating website first uh, this is the total project uh, overview like what are we building if you want to code along uh, tutorial uh, just wait for five minutes i will just explain the code uh, for those who wants to uh, like use it just want to see how it works and uh, how they can be implementing that because the source code source code is available for free on github you can check it out on github so it's very simple next.js application uh, there is nothing going on like it's uh, it's a simple Next.js application with packages like Wagmi. Uh, I installed this Wagmi, Vim, uh, Tailwind CSS, React Toastify, uh, and uh, like React Toastify, Rainbow Kit. And if you go got any error like FS, OS, Path, Net, TLS, just add this and inside this config just add this config next config uh, I don't like it won't be happening uh, this error won't come but if this error occurs to you like if uh, here it asks for FS and all uh, the, then just uh, do this uh, because in rainbow kit they also did the same like so we are going to use rainbow kit for wallet connect and all because it the ui is very good like uh, rainbow kit good as a very good pop-up pop model to connect a wallet plus display of switching chains and inbuilt features so this is very good and it is highly used in web3 community if you want to like try something out then do your best and we are going to going with this only so this is how the this is the configuration which i did uh, rest everything is very simple like uh, we have everything inside source directory uh, there is an application directory inside this application we have simple page uh, which is a server side component definitely and we have a home page component inside it and there is a layout which is, which comes with the uh, next.js 13 and we have some css here like you can see uh, css from uh, Next.js global CSS, Rainbow Kit styling, React Toastify styling. Then we have a provider which we have made our custom made provider, uh, and it is a like this provider is a uh, like use client client side uh, app client side uh, rendered component. So to avoid like if we like this uh, rainbow kit and wagmi will only work on client side so that's why so i think this is a good thing for now uh, then i will explain a little bit more about provider what we are doing but we have enclosed uh, our children everything inside this provider and as you can see uh, our home page this is our home component which is called inside the home page from the here and it is very simple a simple div with a gradient uh, then a column with a border and glass, mor glass morphism uh, design but it doesn't appearing because the backend is very plain uh, then uh, the space x y then is an envelope like a wrapper div uh, to hold all, every all these uh, details header details and then the gated content which we want to display or not and then connect wallet button like as you can see in ui uh, this is the header content uh, this is the gated content and this is the like uh, in, in, this is inside the gated content uh, this input and this is wallet connect button cool then let's check out uh, how gated con con content works so this is also a use client component which is render which will be rendering in client side and we are we have used next image 
uh, read contract from Wagami Core. Uh, let me show you what it is. So, in this Wagami Core section, uh, we have uh, like actions and uh, there is called read contract read contract so we are will be using this uh, like read from a single contract and there is something called read contracts which can read from multiple contracts at the same time but we are going to use read contract because we just want to add one uh, nft like one smart contract uh, one nft collection as a gateway but if you have multiple nft collection and you want uh, to have some condition like if they hold this uh, nft then show something like this if they hold something like the uh, uniswap nft then show something different uh, then you can do that but for now it's just uh, for me it's fine for doing from one only for one nft collection next thing uh, like we have here like use effect so as you can see we have our uh, getting our address user connected wallet address from use account hook and we user connected uh, chain like we can switch chain so we are getting you current chain which you user are user is using so from use network then contract address uh, like from the input we uh, we are we are storing uh, by default contact address is here and we are storing multi uh, another contact address uh, in this use state but uh, this is not uh, like we are not storing it directly like on change but uh, instead we are using uh, use temp address uh, we are using uh, like temp address for changing things and once uh, someone click check uh, then then and then only we use this uh, whatever stored in this temp address we will store that inside this uh, like contract address then we, we are using use effect like uh, once the address change like user address can uh, change chain uh, depend on change and contract address depend on this three uh, we are managing this uh, function what is this function do it's validate a user to if the user is holding an nft contract or not so this is the read contract functions which where we are providing address of uh, like contract address abi abi is a, a like contract abi uh, we are getting our abi from like uh, we have, uh, where is the we have our own ABI like constant. So ERC 721, uh, ERC 20, ERC 4626. So this is the by default constant ABI uh, which are provided by the WAGMI. So you can use that. And we have we have done some uh, like. Uh, try and catch for error handling and we are displaying if user is not connected uh, this uh, this line of code means if the user is not connected then we will be displaying a gif image like welcome which is this like if i am not connected display this and a message cool this is what this li this line of code do second uh, this line of code uh, like we are checking first we are, this is multiple uh, if else condition uh, internally so first of all we are checking if the address is there or not like user is connected uh, so if it is connected then if it is not connected then display nothing null and if it is connected then we have to check is it is uh, uh, if the user is allowed or not so what is allowed we have a state called set is allowed or is allowed so by default it is false because we don't want anyone to see our hidden content but uh, we we are checking it continuously on this on the change of this parameter 
so if anything change and the user address holds an nft uh, from the contact address which is provided then we are setting it's allowed to true but if not then we are uh, like setting it to false and even if the there is some error uh, we have to provide we have to set it false so only if and only if the user holds an nft which uh, from the contract address which we have provided then and then only uh, the user will see the uh, hidden content gated content so that's the point of this uh, line of code uh, that if the user is not allowed it then uh, sh show them a uh, meme of like not found which is this wait okay which is this and what is this uh, like error so the contact address which we have provided is deployed on polygon matic chain okay and we are checking on ethereum blockchain so this contract address is not even there and we are checking for the balance that's why we are getting this error like uh, can't uh, uh, find the balance of this smart, balance of this user in this smart contract so that's what the error means and we have set uh, we we have checked there here the here is the error which we have checked like toast error uh, can't find balance check your chain and contract properly so this is the uh, main functionality of uh, like checking and uh, checking but what uh, if this is the part which we which holds the gated content so here is a video playlist of video playlist video here is a video playlist of the hidden uh, like uh, for the tutorial like uh, uh, which we want to hide from normal user which don't have hold our nft so and a small message like whatever you can you can use this uh, like you don't in the in real world you won't be using something like this but uh, instead you will be using uh, like this uh, to get a page or get a some uh, function like uh, to do something but the logic behind is very similar so i hope this is helping you out so now uh, we have created a gated uh, message but w what if a user is uh, like we want to give a user a uh, ability to check their own nfts like this for ethereum we have multiple nfts here if i want them to check it for their self they can paste their nft address here and check for it as you can see it worked so the code is behind behind that is this one first of all we are checking if the user uh, user address exists like user is logged in then we are displaying our form else we are not so here is a la label a simple html label for this form input and uh, like this input uh, collects the value on change uh, and set it into a temp address and when the button once the button is clicked uh, we are using temp address uh, like whatever we have set in this component uh, this state will be setting that in this contract address and once the contract address is updated uh, this use effect will uh, run again and this function will call will be called so i hope this is clear the logic behind the gating nfts uh, nft gating websites and contents uh, now let's check out the uh, provider how we have configured that so there is nothing much like we have created a simple use client provider uh, like and importing all the things which we need uh, which is react uh, rainbow kit wagmi wagmi chain public provider toastify 
and some configuration for that so where is this configuration is coming from so it's very easy like uh, when you go to rain rainbow kit uh, they have given you something like this you will see something like this and just view view the docs and go for instruction installation and they have given you npm use that or maybe manual setup like you can use this vim wagami so i downloaded uh, using everything like i installed everything using this uh, line of code and then uh, whatever the setup is as you can see rainbow kit from uh, our layout then inside this we have all the different things from here only like as you can see we are not using alchemy alchemy is a provider rpc provider like uh, we can use alchemy rpc rpc provider rpc node uh, if we don't have like if the if you know if we know that user will not have met uh, metamask or any injected web3 wallet then we have to provide our own node to this applications so that's why they have given alchemy provider and these are the chain which uh, you can configure but we have only two mainnet and polygon which is most used and then we can configure our wagmi as you can see we have configured it see very similarly and this is something different as you can see this is something different uh, and to configure this you have to uh, go to the wallet connect wllt wallet connect and go to the login with your wallet or something like uh, and go to the dashboard it's really simple go to just log out uh, let me show you how to do it go to wallet connect uh, simple do this i don't know okay so you can either sign in using your email id password or connect your wallet so i'm going to connect my wallet and continue it asked me to sign it it's okay so this is the uh, you have to create a new project and create a youtube i created this youtube project and which is okay for me i use this uh, dashboard youtube project uh, it asks you to create a name and uh, provide a like project id so that's what it it is like we have to provide a app name and project id inside this and additionally chain so connector because we are using wallet connect connector so that's why we have to provide that and then we can just use this like we did here and toast contain toast like react toast if i needs this component in the head like somewhere open so that's the whole code like what we have used it's open for uh, you can check it on github it's open source and definitely try it out and build this project uh, because i think it's really simple and cool to have like something like nft getting website is really cool to have as in your resume or a project uh, portfolio so do it and hope you are learning something new in web3 and we are on in a journey uh, so we are in a journey to onboard 1000 developers uh, in web3 development as a dev and definitely uh, if you need help just contact us reach out to us and we will ready to help you out and we will learn together if you want uh, some learning partners then contact me i am uh, still learning it and we will learn together so i think that will be benefit to both of us so signing out